Welcome back, my friends. So today we have a really interesting one, one that I am extremely excited about, and that is using this arcade stick right here on my PS4. We're gonna be doing that with this Brook Super Converter right here. We have two of them. We'll take a closer look at this in a second, but to kind of explain the stick here, uh, this is like a custom shell from Game Room Solutions. Customize it as you will. I love these things. I've used them quite a bit. I have one built for my Neo Geo. This one uh, in particular, I used for Retro Pi. So I was plugging this into my Raspberry Pi playing arcade games with it. So the way this is set up is I have these zero delay encoders here. Uh, we have Sanwa sticks, some LED uh, buttons that look really nice. They're pretty cheap. Uh, you can use like half buttons, other buttons that uh, have a locking nut that fit in this. Uh, they have tons of recommendations. I purchased all this stuff myself off of uh, like Amazon, getting these, these things set up. Uh, but yeah, the zero delay encoder, I'm surprised. These guys at Brook, they told me, hey, um, this converter here, if you do the most recent update, the firmware update, you could use zero delay on your PS4 just fine. I was blown away. I was like, let's make this happen. So they sent me these. I've done reviews on their products before that I've purchased myself. And I've really dug what Brooke has done. But yes, they sent me these for purpose of review. And okay, what they're for is to use PS3 controllers on a PS4, right? Like, I mean, is that cool? I guess. But most of these super converters, people are using these in the fighting game community to use other arcade sticks for other systems. So like a PS3 arcade stick on a PS4, uh, different stuff like that, right? Xbox, you, you know, they make converters for tons of different things here. Packaging's like sparkly as fuh. What the heck, right? Uh, pretty small packaging. We're not going to dwell on that too much, but that's what it is. Doesn't come with any instructions or anything. It's pretty much just plug and play. But you do have to do that firmware update in order to do what we're doing today. So the neat thing with this is even if you're not doing this, which is this is all I care about. This can be used with Bluetooth controllers, like PS3 controller. You would just plug it in through USB. It would sync. The light would go solid. You'd unplug it, and bam, your PS3 controller was synced to this, and it remembers it. This will remember your controllers, up to like four controllers that are synced to it. So that's a really neat thing with this. Very versatile device. But like I said, all those other things you can do with it that are awesome, like you use steering wheels. There's tons of stuff. I'll put a link in the description to their website so you can see all the things this does. But what I've been most fascinated with is obviously this, right? So we got the PS4. It's all locked up in this uh, plexiglass case here. Got to protect it, right? Um, so here's the USB cable from the uh, zero delay controller here. And you could, you know, you could buy little cheap boxes, set them up with zero delay. Zero delay encoders are like 10 bucks with the wires. That's cheap. And these right here, I believe they're like 30 or 40 bucks. I will put a link in the description if you're interested in these, but very simple to do. So I've already did the firmware update, only took like a minute to do. Plug it in, pop it into the uh, PS4. It, did you see that? I know it's not dark in here, but the lights went up. So all of these buttons, including these two, these, and then these six buttons here, are wired to that first uh, zero delay encoder. And then I do have my second player controller plugged into another Brook Super Converter, PS3 to PS4 converter. We're gonna plug that one in and there we go. We got the lights on for both sides. All the buttons are lit up. Okay, so there we go. We gotta, okay, we gotta say what controller, uh, controller connected on my account. So we're good there, now it works. Um, Okay, we gotta sync this one, uh, just guest. So guest is on player two. I am on player one. I don't have anybody here to demonstrate that both of them work, but I will show you uh, in verses here, player versus player. And the way I have this wired, okay, so button configuration, you would hit the touchpad. Uh, which one's the touchpad? So my first button right here is like pressing the touchpad. So I would hit that to open up the uh, controller config. Top button right here. I have it right now set the triangle, but since I'm just playing a fighting game, it doesn't really matter what they're wired to. It just 
it works as long as I could configure it. But knowing what each of these buttons are, you could go back in and change them around. You could diagram that, change it around so it more closely mimics a PS4 controller um, or, you know, like a PS4 arcade stick. You copy those setups. You would just swap the, uh, quick, the, the little quick disconnects around or the, uh, I mean, you would just, you would swap these connections around. Uh, not the quick disconnects. You don't really, you don't want to mess with that. Just pop these out and swap them around to what the buttons are if you want to mimic an actual controller. So the first, I only have six uh, action buttons on this controller, so I'm only using the first six on this from where my USB cable plugs into the encoder. Um, so the first six buttons, one through six, are my face buttons. The next two would be shoulder buttons, and then uh, the next... I believe two or three will be uh, function buttons as well. This last one doesn't do anything uh, from what I've checked. So keep that in mind. This last one doesn't need to be wired. These first ones are buttons and these are like options, stuff like that, uh, the touchpad. So very easy on their website. They don't have this diagrammed or anything, uh, which is unfortunate, but it's pretty simple to figure it out yourself, right? Double check the button layout on player two and we're good. This is Street Fighter 4, obviously. Um, I, I love Street Fighter 4 more so than Street Fighter 5. But hey, I mean, there's a lot of fighting games out there. I mean, this isn't much of a challenge. I'm fighting, uh, I'm fighting player 2 here with nobody on player 2, but check it out. Buttons all function. Let me kind of move over there. She only has kicks. But screw that noise. There we go. It, this just is, is magical to me, guys. Like, I love that I can use this two-player stick without doing any crazy converting or anything. Just plug it into these adapters, and, and I'm good to go. Like, I really dig that. You know, you could set this up for an event, like set up a your own little arcade setup using a PS4. Uh, I, I think it's really awesome. The one thing to point out as well is that you do not need a PS4 controller to sync anything. You don't have to have this to authenticate that this is a PS4 controller. It just does not work that way. And I think that is awesome. Like with the Mayflash, you have to have like magic adapters. Um, you have to have a, this controller plugged into the the arcade stick. With this, none of that's needed. You see, this, this controller is not even on. The only controllers I have on is this. And it just works great. So I'm really digging it. I, I mean, I know there's so many other uses for this thing. But for me, this is this is the purpose that I want this adapter for. And I wasn't even aware of it until Brooke hit me up and we kind of conversated about a few things. I brought up Zero Delay and they were like, okay, yeah, you can uh, use this adapter to convert that to PS4. So the communication was pretty cool. They got me set up. Um, I didn't purchase this product, but knowing what I know now, like, holy crap, yes, I, I, I would have bought this. I definitely would have bought this myself. So there you guys go. I mean, not much else I can explain here. Uh, like I said, you got to figure out the diagramming on this stuff since they don't have it uh, listed there. But pretty simple playing a game like Street Fighter where you could press the buttons and configure them and figure out what everything registers as. I know there's you know other variations of the zero delay encoder. Uh, so maybe things would register a little differently, but all of it works. Zero delay works. Really cool stuff. Uh, you can also use the RetroBit um, Sega Genesis uh, and Sega Saturn USB controllers on your PS4 with the uh, most recent update. So that that's that's pretty awesome as well. If you want to play, uh, you know, like Sega Collection games, Sega Genesis games, or you just want to play some fighting games using a six-button controller, you have that as an option. I think that's pretty cool too. So... You know what? Let's go ahead and try that real quick. So it also states that it's hot swappable. So we should be able to just plug this in. Retrobit Sega Genesis six button controller. 
We should just be able to plug that in and it should work. So let's, let's go ahead and try that. All right, I have the uh, arcade stick unplugged. Instantly worked. What? We gotta go through and set up the buttons, but it freaking worked. Well, I mean, this is kind of beyond what I wanted to do with this video, but I'm not sure what all the buttons are right now. I'm not even sure how you press start. I'd have to dig, dig into this a little more. But um, there is that. So hey, a, a versatile little device there. Um, I know they have diagrams for a bunch of the other controllers and whatnot. Uh, so they have all that information on their website. Take a look. But hey, really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Um, like I said, I got to figure this out, but this is more important for me. Thank you, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace out, bye-bye, and boom. Bye!